Welcome to the ZFF Daily Talk. We have the Swiss director Fulvio Bernasconi today as a guest. Uh, Fulvio um, was also the director of the movie Misericorde. Hi, Fulvio. Hi. Nice to have you here. Thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. So before we start talking about your movie, uh, I want to have a short look into one of the scenes. Is that okay? Okay, great. Absolutely. Tu l'as retrouvé? Non. Tu mens comme les autres blancs. Quand il y a un gibier pour deux chasseurs, il faut partager. C'est pas du gibier. Very short scene. First day um, of shooting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was very cold. <laughs> it was, okay. Yeah, it was shot in Canada. So, yeah. Um, maybe we don't see it here already, but some of the to topics that are um, threat in the movie are uh, farewell, uh, grief somehow, let go, forgiveness, and yeah. mercy. Yeah, all that. <laughs> Most of all, I will, I will say that uh, the film is really about forgiveness. It's about, uh, I will say, the possibility to, f to possibility, sorry, to forgive, and also tells a little bit how, how difficult it's sometimes to forgive, forgive the others, or uh, himself. Yeah. That's basically, I will say, it's uh, what the film is about. But it's also an adventure, a road movie. And a modern Western. <laughs> yeah, all together. <laughs> uh, what what inspired you for that? The the project came to me via my producer uh, Jean Marc Freul, uh, Point Prod in Geneva, and uh, there was a story written by the screenwriter Pierre Pascal Rossi, and then was uh, basically the idea of Canada road movie there. And then uh, we had to, Pierre Pascal had problem, health problem, and we are to somehow rewrite the script with another screenwriter, Antoine Jacou. He did most of the job, to be honest. And um, so somehow there was already a, a, a team, a landscape, a main character. And what inspired me as a director was, of course, the team, but also the possibility to shot. And the landscape was very attractive to me, yeah, it honestly. Was beautiful honestly. images. Yeah, yeah. Like, but somehow you feel, because of the wasteland, was a bit lost. It's like I inner loss somehow. And yeah, that was exactly what we were looking for. Uh, uh, somehow a landscape that can uh, tell about the inner conflict of the of the m of the characters, and uh, something quite dramatic and uh, big, uh, definitely bigger than life in a way. And so we were looking for sometimes in the north of Canada to find the line, the, fi the, um, the right landscape, uh -huh. and we finally find it in ABTB, Val d'Or, north of Canada, okay. and ma gold mines regions. Nice, okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, the, the ou outer uh, land, ref there's a lot of reflection as well, and symbols. We, we can see, for instance, there the stories about also a truck that um, hits a boy. Mm. So this truck also looks like somehow like a devil. I don't know if that was on purpose with those. Um, yeah, it looks like a devil somehow black and yeah. or the, the driver at the end appears somehow like an angel or a okay. pregnant wi woman. There's a yeah. lot of a ba baby that got killed or mm -hmm. so I don't know if that, that was on purpose symbolic uh, language. Yeah, I will not say that the film is highly symbolic. It's a, re a realistic film, but for sure, uh, the tracks, of course, we'll, we're looking for uh, a track that uh, could be seen as a monster somehow. That's for sure. It's for for a purpose. And, you know, it's anyway, everything in a film is a little symbolic. <laughs> so you're not, uh, you are right. Um, also the dead deer? Yeah, for sure. That's, that scene uh, with the dead deer, it's of course, uh, 
it's highly symbolic and uh, but it's also um, it reflects uh, it's also reality you know it's not uh, came from nowhere it's uh, this kind of th things happen on the roads in the north uh -huh. and uh, that's important we will not we will well we not want we don't we didn't want sorry uh -huh. to to do something that was uh, unrealistic or yeah. too much symbolic okay then you uh, worked with native um, people. Uh, the native culture is also full <laughs> of symbols, of mm -hmm. course. Wha what was the reason to involve the native people? Mm -hmm. I think that um, the idea to extend, somehow to extend the script uh, uh, with um, the native people, the culture and some native character came from the, the screenwriter Antoine Jacou and uh, he had some experience in the U in US and so it was very touched by, by this culture I would say the condition of the natives in 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 US but also in Canada and then somehow we start to research about uh, this culture we went there and also we had the I this idea that um, somehow the film being about uh, forgiveness mm -hmm. This culture yeah. <laughs> has to do a lot with forgiveness it's yeah. uh, and maybe they have a problem <laughs> in this society about this and uh, for sure someone has to be must be forgiven <laughs> and maybe uh, forgive uh, must be accept but that's difficult to say as a swiss but uh, no but some somehow i can understand their land was somehow taken yeah the land and they have to live with that yeah. and also the characters uh, in the movie have somehow live with guilt or something that they committed or something w happened to them, you have to live with that, right? And yeah, the characters are... Um, I think in the film, all the almost all the char characters are something uh, that must be forgiven uh, or have a sense of guilt that has to be overcome mm -hmm. in a way. And um, yeah. Okay, <laughs> well, uh, yeah, tough uh, topic. Um, at the end, yeah, somehow there was written a Arno, so that's a dedication, I guess. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, Arno was um, was um, he was working. He was a partner in the Point Pro, the production company, and unfortunately he passed away during the editing of uh, of the film. And then uh, Jean Marc, the main producer, had the idea to dedicate the film to him and of course it was uh, of course i agree of course and that's why <laughs> the film is dedicated to him okay yeah nice okay thank you so much for sharing that uh, thank you so much also for being here um thank you much also for watching um if you want to see more of our talks that are being shot here in the blick video studio then subscribe our youtube channel thank you very much <laughs>